Hey guys, we're talking FIFA World Cup 2022 here on Z Code System today. I thought it would be a great time to go over a, a few of the things with the World Cup. We've talked about it before here. I previewed it previously here on the Z Code System blog and on YouTube in our videos. But I thought it would be great to go back over things with the World Cup fast approaching. Matter of fact, it is just two months away today. I'm coming to you on September the 19th, and the World Cup will be taking place or will be starting on the 20th of November. So we are fast approaching the World Cup, and it is going to be a fantastic time. As that first day of games, we're going to see Qatar playing Ecuador in uh, Group A as we get the World Cup underway. And if you're going to be following the World Cup and betting on it this upcoming November and December, then you're going to want to sign up to Zico System today so you can get all the best picks and betting odds and, and the best picks, predictions, and the best betting systems for the upcoming World Cup. And we're going to be bringing you videos quite early and blogs about the World Cup once it uh, gets underway in Qatar uh, in November and December. So the tournament kicks off on November 20th, and it is going to end on December the 18th. It is a four-week tournament. And if you follow soccer in Europe right now, you know that the big leagues in Europe, the Premier League, the La Liga, the Bundesliga, the Serie A, the Championship, uh, all the major leagues in Europe are being played right now. They just kicked off in August and September. And those leagues are going to be taking a, a pause, a four-week, five-week pause during the uh during the world cup there so we have players who are preparing for the world cup right now they're playing with their club teams going through a authority what is a, a grueling season and then they're going to break to go to qatar for their national teams to play in the world cup now some of the uh players and teams and leagues uh, around the world such as uh players necessarily maybe in in south america or north america they're going to be wrapping up their domestic seasons around the same time that the World Cup is starting. So, for example, in Major League Soccer, those uh, those players who who compete in in, in Major League Soccer in, in North America, they will be finishing up the MLS season right before getting on the planes to go to Qatar for the tournament. So, it's going to be an exciting time. And as you can see right there in front of you, we've got the groups for the tournament. Uh, and some really exciting groups, some some groups I'm really excited for that. Uh, that Group B with England, Iran, uh, United States, and Wales. That's going to be a fantastic group uh, this uh, World Cup. Um, I think, you know, I think if if, uh, if the United States can get hot uh, in this tournament, which I don't know if they can, but if they do, I think they can top that group. Uh, I don't know if they can, they can go too deep in the tournament, but I think that uh, they can top that group uh, if England slip up a bit. Uh, and then that group A, that's a, a very interesting group with Senegal and the Netherlands. Uh, my two picks to go through in that group. But uh, we just had some issues with Ecuador um, uh, going to FIFA, FIFA ruling uh, with Ecuador due to Ecuador allegedly uh, selecting a, an ineligible player for for uh, World Cup qualifiers, and um, they have uh, had their uh, their appeal upheld, I guess you could say, and they will go ahead and compete in the World Cup uh, this year. So it's going to be a really good tournament. I'm excited for it. I know you are too. It's the first time the World Cup will be held in winter in North uh, the Northern Hemisphere winter. That is, uh, as it is held in November and December, and that is because it is being held in Qatar, which is far too hot to have in June and July. Now, one of the things I think that everyone should uh, should know or should note or should remember is that the, the World Cup is typically held in the middle of June to the middle of July, but the previous time that the tournament was held early uh, was in South Korea in 2002, and that tournament began on May the 31st, and really the team's uh, in Europe, who had just put in a, a very strong, difficult season, went right to play in South Korea and Japan. And the reason the tournament was moved forward uh, was because of the, the rainy monsoon season that hits uh, East Asia. So the tournament was moved forward a few weeks, and we saw quite a number of teams, such as Turkey, such as South Korea, such as the USA, doing very well at that tournament. And some of the traditional... Um, the stronger teams such as Spain and Italy struggling at the World Cup 2002. So we could see something like that happen again this year in 2022 in Qatar. So that's something to really keep an eye on 
as we go into this tournament. Now, let's take a look at the betting odds according to Bet365 as we go into the tournament. Okay, so this is Bet365, my favorite sports book. I say this all the time uh, when we use Bet365 here on our videos on YouTube. And uh, as you can see there, I'm just on the, the soccer page here so you can get all kinds of uh, betting odds for, for matches today if you are using Bet365 to make your wagers on. And we're going to go to the outright markets. And of course, you've got so many great outright markets that you can wager on when it comes to soccer. You've got all these leagues. This is why soccer is the most bet on sports in the world is because you have all of these markets, all of these leagues. You've got games going on all the time. And as you can see there, you've got actually 18 in-play matches going on right now somewhere in the world. All right, so we're going to just click on the World Cup. And again, you get markets, markets, markets. And what is that? 12 markets right there on Bet365. Now, if your sports book is not giving you enough markets, then I suggest you Find a sports book that gives you all the markets that you want to wager on because you've got so many options here to win outright, top score, to reach the final, to reach the semifinal. Fantastic markets. I love it. And uh, I'll be making use of most of these markets, not necessarily all of them, but most of these markets during the World Cup and before. All right. So let's take a look at the to win outright market. And as you can see there, we've got Brazil at plus 450 to win the World Cup. Now, the bookies do love Brazil, but let's take that with a bit of a grain of salt because Brazil do get a lot of love before every international tournament. Now, I will say that Brazil is stacked with talent. Neymar, um, uh, Roberto Firmino, Fred, Casemiro. This is a team that is stacked with talent talent and they are going to be good but again let's take that with a grain of salt brazil i wouldn't say has the most difficult fixture list ahead of any major tournament now they do play against argentina in the uh, in the copa america last season which they, they lost that final to argentina they do play some good teams in south america let's let's just go ahead and be honest with that but when they play friendlies a lot of those are glamorized brazil get paid a lot of money to go to play certain countries, whether it be South Korea, whether it be Qatar, whether it be, uh, you know, some of these other countries that they go and play in friendly exhibition matches, they they don't necessarily play the best talent from Europe. So when they get to the World Cups, they don't necessarily have the, uh, the ability to beat those teams. But Brazil are the bookies favorite right now. And as you can see there, you can get uh, one half the odds on an each way bet for the tournament. Uh, for the World Cup tournament. So if your team makes it to the semifinal and lose, well, you can still get a payout there. Now we've got England at plus 550, and I think that England are a little bit overvalued in this uh, going uh, ahead, excuse me, going into this tournament. Uh, England, while they did reach the final of the Euro 2020 tournament, Euro 2021 tournament uh, against Italy last summer, um, this is an England team that. You know, they're going to be coming out of the Premier League. These players, for the most part, I think it's all of these players in the squad at the moment will be coming out of the Premier League season where it's already been a, a very difficult year. And I think that you've seen quite a few players already kind of showing that they're necessarily not giving 100% effort for their club teams as they prepare for the World Cup. Uh, so that could be a factor uh, in this. And I think that England can do well, but I'm not sure if they can actually win it. There are a few uh, pundits, Fabio, uh, Fabio Capello, former England manager, who believes that England can win this World Cup because England and their players are used to not have are used to not having a winter break, and this could really benefit them coming up. Uh, countries such as uh, Italy and Germany often have winter breaks, and so Capello thinks that that won't affect England this year. By not having a winter break, just going right into those matches, and it will propel them to the title. I'm not really sure if that actually will happen, uh, or is that if that's a, a great uh, an idea. But uh, anyway, England are plus five fifty, France plus six hundred, Argentina plus seven hundred. Argentina won the Copa America last season with Lionel Messi. Now France, they are the reigning World Cup champions. Fantastic group of players right there, and France like Brazil for me, have the two best squads on paper. Now, will they be able to to translate this into winning the World Cup for a second straight time? I'm not really sure if that can happen. Now, keep in mind, there are only two teams who have ever won the World Cup in back-to-back -back years. Italy won it in 1934-1938, and 
Brazil won it in 1958 and 1962. I mean, that's a long time ago. The tournaments were very different back then. Uh, fewer teams, uh, different formats. So uh, that, that's a long time ago, and it will be very difficult for France to repeat as champions. Now, one team who I think, and I say this a lot in international tournaments, one team that everyone should maybe consider very, uh, you know, think hard before you wager on them is Belgium. Belgium plus 1,400 to win the tournament. Belgium have been uh, overvalued a lot in the last, I would say, two, three, four international tournaments. Yes, they have a good players. They've had a golden generation of players. But at the same time, that golden generation has failed to win silverware, and they're getting older, and I don't think Belgium are going to win this tournament. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say that. I don't think they're going to win this tournament. Croatia, keep in mind, they made it to the 2018 World Cup uh, final, where they lost 4-2 to France. Uh, Croatia had a uh, decent-sized turnover in um, uh, player personnel there at the national level, so uh, keep that in mind before you... Go ahead and throw your money down there on Croatia. So these are the odds going into the World Cup here, and I'm sure we're going to see some movement before we get to the tournament kicking off on November the 20th with, with Qatar and Ecuador. So a lot of things still to happen, and you can always go to your favorite sports book, bet on the individual matches, and, of course, bet on these different markets that there are for the World Cup tournament. Guys, let me know who you think is going to win the World Cup 2022 in Qatar. I'm not sure yet. I'm not ready to give you my pick, but I'm going to give it to you soon when we come to you with another video soon on the 2022 World Cup. But let me know who you think is going to lift the trophy in Qatar. And also, guys, if you've not signed up to Zico's system, get over there today. Sign up for all the systems, the picks and predictions, so you can make educated bets on the World Cup coming up. And, well, if you're there for the World Cup, then you can get all of those systems and those tools to bet on other soccer leagues around the world and soccer competitions. So sign up for that today. Hit the subscribe button down below and thumbs up this. Give it the like. And I will see you guys next time here on Z Code System.